what advice would you give to the Emily of the first season? Get yourself ready for a wild ride. <laughs> Hot men everywhere. I guess I've just been so focused on Gabrielle and Alfie that I, I forgot what it feels like to be single. Oh. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I have to say that I'm really excited because I've been waiting so long for this season and I think the fans are going to love it because there are a lot of things happening. So I would like to know what advice would you give to the Emily of the first season? Get yourself ready for a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. You know what? I think uh, a great quality Emily has is that she always wants to do the right thing uh, without hurting the people that she loves. But I think that's impossible to a certain point. So do you believe that we need to embrace certain situations or certain moments in your life in order to grow up and get what you want? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that you need to learn from your experiences. And I think that this season, Emily is more vulnerable than ever. There's a maturity that's come with being in Paris for this amount of time, but also a vulnerability because she now feels safe and protected with the people around her in the environment so that she can feel all the feelings. So I think it's really important to celebrate um, both sides of yourself, the strong and the one that needs a little help. And it wouldn't, you wouldn't be where you are today if you didn't have those hurdles to get over and to get through. Um, so I think that Emily is experiencing just that. Well, no relationship is perfect. I really thought that I could move on from them, but they both mean so much to me for different reasons. Don't overthink it. I love your character. I think Mindy has showed us the meaning of perseverance. Um, do you identify with her at certain point? Like, uh, have you sacrificed important things in order to fulfill your career as an actress? I think I've yeah. only achieved parts of my career by like not sacrificing who I am, but also like I think that I, I relate to a lot of the ways that like N Mindy navigates a situation. But I think that Mindy's like she's got bigger balls than I do in some yeah. in some ways. But um, so I'm I'm very much inspired by Mindy in a lot of situations. Yeah, I think the way that you're there for people and the the, the way that you shine your light in any room that you go into, I think you've got. Mindy written well that I think that's what you bring out of Mindy as well. Mm -hmm. Alfie, we need to talk. Oh my god! Can we please just talk about what happened? Just need some more time. It's hard not to love Alfie and the oh. way he takes care of himself. So I would like to know if there is such a thing that there's a the right person at the wrong time. I think it's absolutely totally. the, the the right person at the wrong time. I think people think that it's it's I almost think that you've got to be in the right man. You've got to be in the right space within yourself to be able to take someone on board. And usually if you're not in the right space, you can take the wrong person on board because it fixes or it feels like you're creating something together, but you kind of two broken things that are going to be more broken together in the long run. Um, so I definitely think this is a wrong time. And then also I think that beautiful things take time, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that that's, that's the special thing about it. Um, there's so many instances where uh, friends for a long time end up making it romantic way later down the line or not too much later down the line, just like around the corner. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, definitely love is a timing thing and love finds you when it's ready to. I'm so sick of the secrets. So am I! I would like to know why you think uh, like the French references, the cliches and dreaming about having a life in Paris have helped the show to be that successful? Well, I think that the show really celebrates the country and the city in so many ways. And um, I think there's, you know, Paris is such a whimsical dreamlike place that the show really helps accentuate that. And there's an escapism about the show that I think people really are attracted to and it makes people happy and smile. And because we get to shoot in the city all around, actually all around France, the locations are exactly as they are. And I think that that is just so special and unique about the show that you can actually go visit those places and you can actually have the Emily experience. Have you learned something about yourself or as a an actress portraying this character? Yeah, I've, I've definitely learned to take more risks and step outside my comfort zone more, um, being okay with not having all of your stuff together all the time, being okay being vulnerable. Like, there's so many aspects of this show that I think 
have really impacted me. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you, Lily, and congratulations on this uh, new season. And we hope to see a lot more from Emily in Paris. <laughs> oh, thank you. So nice to see you. I promised myself I'd be open to any possibility. And this seems like it's the one.